Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful people doing today? <clears throat> Put out three videos a week. Two of them are beautifully edited, cinematic masterpieces. One of them's uncut. And in today's uncut video, we got all kinds of stuff happening. Look, we got Jerome back there. We were at his house filming earlier today. We got Sean and Alexis. Came over here to Scott Bolter's house to pick up <coughs> some snakes. COVID. Sorry. <laughs> some big snakes. But this this uncut is packed, packed full for you guys. At the end, there's one cut, one single cut at the end. You won't regret sticking around for it. Wait till we show you what's in that cabinet over there. That's what's really going on. Alexis is going to hold a snake for the first time in her entire life. She's never held a snake before, ever, right? Yes, never. Yeah. Never, ever. Never, ever. Scott! Never. Scott has clutches. Can we check out the clutches? Absolutely. We should start with that. Tell us about these clutches as we walk to them, please. First clutch that hit was from a 75% Kalatoa Tiger head albino to a 25% Kalatoa, 25% Jabea, Henry, Motley, Golden Child, Tiger, Paws Head, Albino. And here we go. And here's the clutch. <laughs> it's a small clutch. It Tiny is clutch. a small clutch. Ten. We ended up with ten out of twenty-nine, unfortunately. But what we did end up with is just absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at how beautiful these snakes are, guys. Take a look at them. And there's focus six, camera. Thank you. Sixty-two and a half percent. Oh, no, wait, the male was not what I just said. I'm sorry. Oh, my the gosh. The male was actually, well, it's uncut, so hey, I get, I get to screw up. The male was actually a 50% Kalatoa, 12 and a half Jamp, white diamond line tiger from Garrett Hartle at Reach Out Reptiles. Who's that? So these, there are some white diamond line tigers in here, but they are all considered white diamond line because of the influence, and they are 62.5% Kalatoa. Dude, these are, I, I just love... I love coming over to Scott's when he hatches snakes because I never get to hatch retics. Not that I don't get to, I don't. I just don't hatch out retics, and they're just, it's a little different than a ball python clutch. They're, they're a little more grippy, like that one looked like it fell, but it's actually right here still and didn't fall. And, and right there. you don't have to do the handful of snakes, instead the snakes make a full of your hand. <laughs> we'll just pretend that that made sense. Follow us? <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. There you go. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on TikTok. <laughs> uh. Follow us down the rabbit hole. Uh, yeah. So this one right here has obviously got some tiger in it. This one right here obviously does not. And that's your genetics lessons for the day, kids. So when a snake has a mommy and a daddy who love each other very much, <laughs> you get baby snakes. Let's check out the other clutch. All right. <laughs> oh, check this out. Look at this. That is awesome. Come on. Who doesn't want a baby snake? I want a baby snake. I've got a baby snake now. It's so awesome. I'm having fun, Scott. Are you, having, are you having fun yet? I am having a blast. It better be. It's always wonderful to have you at the house. Thanks. Thank you. It's always wonderful to be had. All right. <laughs> yes, it is. One more clutch hashed out. Funny thing is, Scott has two clutches hatched out two days apart from each other. I had two clutches hatch out two days apart from each other. You guys haven't seen the other one yet, but I will show you as soon as I get back home. It's been a long road. So I'm feeling a little bit crazy. I've been driving basically for the last 24 hours straight with little stops in the middle to film or drop people off at the airport or, you know, stuff like that. I'm kind of losing it, to be honest. That's an even bigger handful of baby reticulated pythons. So what was happening with this clutch again? <clears throat> this one is an anery tiger, plus head albino female to the actual Annery Motley Golden Child Tiger Passet Albino. And there you have it. There's some Kalatoa and some Jampea mixed in there. Um, but it's quite a beautiful clutch. Stop focusing on my face, camera. Stay on the snakes. Thanks. 
I'm trying to hide. So we just do snakes. Mmm, beautiful. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, dude. I just want to like rub my face in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. I just. <laughs> I don't, oh. I don't know what to, that's that's like hallelujah the, hallelujah exactly <laughs> Hallelu praise the lord snake mm. to the snake gods now these this snake this gods. is a beautiful clutch it is a gorgeous clutch dude fantastic this one and this actually you know what? honestly this is my favorite one and it just stayed attached to my hand and they're all anery <sighs> they're all anery which is a beautiful thing like stayed right on my hand look at that little face it's a face everybody could love Okay, let's get, get zoom in on that face. Check out this face, guys. A face, the most lovable face. Snake face. Love it. Also, oh, I forgot to show the one that's still in the egg, because that's kind of cool. Yeah. There's one that's still in the egg. Still has an egg, egg, cool. egg yolk attached to it, so we can't focus. Your camera. What do you What do we pay you for? To focus on the snake and the egg. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the second section of this video. <laughs> Wee! What is the snake that uh, Alexis is gonna hold? Did I mention that you guys came all the way from Indiana? Did yeah, I mention that? All the way, all the way. Drove all the way from Indiana, driving all the way back Three with days. a bunch of snakes from Scott. Three day drive. Three days. Three days they've been driving. And now, are you ready? Oh no, I'm not ready. Size. I don't think I'm ever ready. You, that's that's no, a good that's a good want... spirit. You're no, never you're never really ready. No. Next year and. Yeah, it's just kind of a, it's one of those responsibilities you just got to kind of step up and... It's too big, though. That's a tiny this snake. It's a small one. That's tiny? Yeah. That's crazy. They're going to get way okay. bigger than that. Do I have to hold it by myself? Mm, you don't have don't to. Don't you nod your head at by... me, okay? No. <laughs> Jerome's a ball python guy. While she's warming up over there, why don't we show... Everybody, leave a comment down below and let us know what morph of ball python this is right here. This is what we, come on, comment down below and let us know if you know what morph, let's get a good shot of the head, give everybody a fair chance. If you know what morph of ball python, of ball python this is. We need to know in the comment down below. The winner, the winner is going to get a prize that I will send directly to your house and I will sign it. And if I don't sign it, Scott will sign it. But somebody will sign whatever we send if you can guess down in the comments below. We're getting there. We're getting there. No, not around my neck. That's probably the best place. It's easier. It's easier it's to let them hold you. Okay. It's just easier. It's less work. Okay, I trust that you guys are in the room. There you go. Yeah, we, we are in the room. Oh We're absolutely in the room. Oh, okay. Look at that. Oh, you're doing great. I usually recommend putting one side, even though the snake's probably fine, I put yeah. one side down one under the shoulder side. just for, there just for, go. just as a good. Under, okay. A good uh, rule of okay. rule of thumb. I mean, like like this. I like take, take this side. Like, like, like go ahead and like go with your hand. I'll put that side down under your shoulder right there, there and then go. up under there. That's a good okay. way to do it. There we go. That's why. That's how I like to do it. Just 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 to keep your Ooh. keep one side Other of your muscles. neck open. Oh, You're doing you great. Might get well, You're not thanks. shaking. No. You're not crying. Well, no. <laughs> you you, you, you seem to be generally enjoying yourself. Somewhat. You're doing a great job, by the way. The slow, gentle, easy movements that you're Very making. Very strong. Yeah, you're showing strong skills as a first-time snake handler. Okay, can you take her back? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the, the the ability to tap out when you've had your fill. Look, look, dude, give me five. Come on, oh, seriously, yeah. first time ever yes. holding a snake. First time. I trusted you guys, though. Great job. Yeah. Well, you did okay. great. You represented that shirt well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What you wearing? See, the thing is, I heard that they were going to Garrett's next and that potentially yeah. Garrett was going to get her to hold the first snake. And I was like, uh-uh, <laughs> that ain't happening on my watch, buddy. I'm going to do it on my video first. <laughs> oh, now for the glass. This is something I thought that you guys might want to see. I was kind of amazed by it. Hey, Scott, where'd that light go? Right here. Ah, there you go. Would you mind killing the light from here real quick, Jerome? So check this out. This this cabinet is full of glass from Chernobyl. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I mean, I mean, seriously. And what glass do you guys know? That you shine a black light on it, and it turns like green. It's ura irradiated glass <laughs> from Chernobyl. And Scott's been drinking out of it and eating out of it for like half his life at this point. 
-hmm. It really explains a lot about Scott. (laughs) Okay, and we're approaching... Oh, man, that got really bright all of a sudden. The last thing of that... The the one thing I never thought I would ever do is potentially enjoy a flavored whiskey. Let's see what happens. It's pineapple. The problem is that I really enjoy the smell. But it's rye. I've never seen flavored rye whiskey before. And I'm not saying they don't, they're not common. I've just never seen one. I hate to admit that I actually enjoyed that. But I did. <laughs> and now comes the part of the video where I said you'd enjoy a cut. And I wouldn't be an uncut if we didn't come in here. And... So, did you do a joke when you're on the Connected by Creatures? What? When you're on the Connected by Creatures uh, podcast, the no. YouTube channel, you didn't do one? No, I don't think no, I did. My boy. So you said it for us, right? Yeah. You, oh, you want down there? What's going oh, you, on? Oh, you want to hear a joke? Yeah, a joke. How do you uh, make holy water? Wait, wait, come back. Why are you walking away? How do you make holy water? How you make holy water? Yeah. Uh, take an ice pick and punch, punch a bunch of holes in it, like. No. You gotta boil the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> <That> was... 